Hi everybody. I have finished my junk journal. So I have set up a brand new uh, traveler's notebook and it's a brand new size and everything. So I'm going to show how I have this one all set up and I'm, I'm not going to talk about this junk journal that much, but I will link the video where I was, uh, at the halfway point and I gave my thoughts. My thoughts just haven't changed that much. Uh, I'm glad to be done with this because I just, I just didn't really get along with it. And there may be a couple of factors there, but I'll work those out in the future because I do have some other junk journals that I I'm, am really excited to get into. So I'm, I'm just gonna have to feel those out when the time comes, but this is done and is archived now, so I've moved on. This, uh, by the way, is from Moonside Parlor on Etsy, and it is so beautiful. And this is just standard traveler's notebook size. So when I move from one journal to the next, I am not loyal to any one particular size. I just switch whatever I want on a whim. So I finally decided to move into B6 Slim. I'm really, really excited about it because I've never used this size before and I have heard nothing but positive things about it. Even if people aren't super in love with B6 Slim, they're still saying it's a great size and it's really nice. So I'm, I've am i been wanting to be in this size and so I just thought now is the time. So this magnificent leather cover is from Speckled Fawns and it is their uh, vintage train case. It is not something that's available now on their website. I just happened upon this on the buy sell trade groups. I, I don't, this is the only thing that I've bought that was used and it's my first purchase off any buy sell trade. I don't know why I have such a hang up about it, but apparently something has to really stop me in my tracks for me to purchase off of there. And this thing just, I mean, look at it. It is so amazing. People have said it looks like, um, like dragon skin and just people have such really great descriptive words for this and it just makes me fall in love with it more and more so it is a thing of beauty and this is totally my style I just go nuts over textures um like these ridges and cracks in here and massive color variations I just love really really dynamic leather pieces and this one has been aged on purpose on top of the coloring and I don't know it's it's just everything that I love about a leather cover so it is very very stiff I have done a lot of rolling and bending to break it in a little bit more but I do like the structure that it gives especially because the things I have in here aren't smooth and flat so I like that it has structure of its own so <laughs> this this came about pretty organically the way this is themed and decorated so this is a Keely Reichman zipper pouch and I had it custom made by her and what I did was I bought the Trader Joe's bag and I sent it to her and then she made me a couple of pouches out of it I will link that video in the description as well where I talk a little bit more about that process. So I wanted this one because uh, my husband is called TJ and you know, it said I heart TJ's whatever. <laughs> um, but I really, really wanted this because this is one of the things that caught my breath when I saw this pattern and I thought I really, I need to have a thing made with that. So I wanted to use it in here and then I think I, I may have shown this to uh, my friend Robin at Talks from the Heart. I'll link her channel below as well. Uh, but she went to TJ Maxx and found this card and she got it for me. She sent me a little happy mail and this was in there and I just thought it was so cute because, you know, she knows my husband is called TJ and everything. 
so I, I mean, I know most people use cards as washi cutters. I don't, um, I like the ragged edge of just tearing it, but this fits so perfectly right here. And I just thought, why not? It goes with the theme. And so I guess this is kind of dedicated to my husband and how much I adore him. So uh, this is the note that I wrote to myself last December, um, December 2019. And so I'm going to open it this December and then write myself another one. And I usually just put this in whichever current journal setup that I have. I just always keep it on me. Otherwise, I know that I'll lose it. These pockets, like this pocket here is longer than this one. This one's a bit shorter. So when I put this card in here, it's a nice snug fit. So I haven't had a problem with it falling out. There is a full length pocket behind these two. <clears throat> Sorry, like I have some kind of sinus I guess I'm getting a cold or something, so my voice is just a hot mess. But I have some note papers behind here uh, for some things that I'm selling, so I just want to keep those on me so I know where to find them. And in my zipper pouch, I have only one thing in the actual zipper area. This is a Lamy, or not a Lamy, yeah, get it together, Sarah. Okay, this is a Twisby Eco. And it is full of the Emerald of Shiver ink. Oh my gosh. This ink, I don't want to jump the gun and say that it is my ultimate favorite because the truth is I just haven't tried a lot of inks yet because I haven't been in any fountain pen friendly journals lately. So I diving in head first into fountain pen stuff because I've, I've just been waiting. I've had this for a few months and I just really wanted to give it some regular use. So uh, I'm in a Tomoe River paper journal and which is everything. So I don't like to keep my pens on the edge like this where pen loops are usually situated. If I can and the pen fits, I like to keep it within the pouch. I'm not going to lie. I've Totally got another Twisby on the way. Uh, this is a medium nib. I really love the thicker nibs as well. It it also helps because it shows off the ink majestically. So I've got another one of these on the way and I wanna fill it with another ink sample that I'm getting or that I have. And I, I also bought a whole jar of the, or a whole bottle of Emerald of Shiver because yes. So, in here, I have a bunch. These aren't all of the washi cards that I have, but I've just shoved them anywhere that I can. Washi is like my number one thing to have when I'm journaling as far as putting down quick decor. I love having sample sheets like this on me. It's just so easy to use and it it's my number one decor item. And then I have just some random stickers like from Odd Girl Journals, who's Keely Reichman, and then some of these. Oh my, I hate people. This is from Robin at Talks From The Heart. She sent me a bunch of things and um, I just keep them on me because if I have a bad day, I definitely slap one of those down. So uh got my cupcake, which is, I just love. So I've got the Nanami Cafe Note. Uh, in the B6 slim size. And so this is the 52 GSM Tomoe River paper. And this is the version two, which is the full grid. And uh, th this is how, this is how I knew that I didn't get along with this as well as I imagined I did. Because when I got out of this junk journal and I put the pen to this paper, it was like, it was like I couldn't stop. Like I went in here and I was hungry for it. And it was kind of baffling to me because I realized I really, really missed being in plain paper and having a ton of pages. Because I guess in here I felt a little bit limited because there were a lot of pattern papers and I felt like some of them I really couldn't write on and then 
there weren't that many pages. So I felt like if I skipped patterned papers, then I'd only be writing on like four papers. I don't know. It was just, it was just frustrating, I guess. And I didn't realize it until I got in here and I felt like <laughs> the freedom and the, the being able to breathe in here. And I realized that I really, really missed this. So this took me a month to get through and there's only like 30 pages in here, but it should have taken me just like a week to get through this. Um, but it took that full month. And in here, I am just, I am writing like four, five, six pages a day. I'm just getting in here and I'm decorating. I had a really hard time decorating in here. And I think it's because I didn't want to take up space when there was already limited writing space. So things I'll figure out later, of course. But I have been so happy getting in here and just writing like I normally do and then throwing down washi tape and maybe a sticker or two. That is just my happy place right now with journaling. So I am having a blast in here. Um, my journaling is still simple. I was in the Moleskine Expanded for four months this year before I got into this junk journal. And being in there really established my journaling style. And it's fairly simple. It's just writing and then some washi tape or a sticker. And I really, I really enjoy journaling that way. It's very, very relaxing and soothing to me. So I am very grateful <laughs> to be in this notebook right now. And I am super grateful to have my fountain pens in use because, oh my goodness, I love using a fountain pen. I, I haven't used a fountain pen regularly before now. And the ink, oh my gosh, I, I mean, I get it now. Okay, everybody, I get it. I know why people have huge fountain pen collections and huge ink collections and I'm I'm in it for the long haul and I'm I'm about to fill this whole thing up with this fountain pen ink. So uh this if I had to say now I'd say this was a ride or die journaling component that I just can't do without. So really really happy with this setup. Also love the kind of color theme that accidentally happened with the the black and white and red and then I'm keeping this uh dust jacket on here because I actually uh like this graphic and it goes with the black and white and orange kind of color scheme that's that's happening in here so I really love the way this whole thing came together and I have my palms here too, which I, I can't live without these. These are also from Robin at Talks from the Heart. She made them and sent them to me. So that is my whole setup. And also this kind of has like an orangey undertone, kind of fiery looking as well. So I like the way it goes with everything inside too. So overall, as you can probably tell, I'm just really happy with this setup. And then the size too. I really love this size so much. So I don't know how long it's going to take me to get through this. I'm not worried about it at all. I'm just happy being in here. I haven't even split up the pages to like in quarters like I usually do when I have a thick book like this. And I'm not worried about it. I I don't want that pressure and I'm, I'm good without it right now. So I'm just enjoying being in here. So that is my B6 Slim setup. This is just a simple full length pocket that I've slipped the back cover into. Oh, sad times. The the Pentel dual metallic, no, Pentel hybrid dual metallic pens that have the, the glitter in them. There, you can see the glitter there. Uh, it's, they're so beautiful and I love them so much, but they totally bleed through Tomoe River paper. And I was using kind of a light hand with this as well, but there's definitely bleed through. So I'm sad about that, but I've got my fountain pen ink, so I'm not that sad. 
<laughs> so anyway, guys, that is it for me. This is my new setup. I totally love it. I know I'm late um, to the train for that. But anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. And I will see you all again very soon because I have Hobonichi things arriving this week that I'm planning on unboxing. So look out for that. Thanks, guys. Bye.